Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I made this adorable end table. To start this project, I got these three-in-one boards, and the reason I picked these is because they have a wood piece inside. So I picked up nine of these boards, and I'm just going to separate the contents from it. All I'm wanting is the board. So I'm gonna do that for all nine of them. Then I'm gonna take my boards and I'm going to be using wood glue for this. So I'm just gonna put a thin layer of wood glue on one edge of the board and then I'm gonna line it up with the other side. Now to hold them in place, I'm going to add a little bit more of my wood glue and then I'm gonna smooth it out. And then I decided since I didn't have any clamps that would work for this, I just put some duct tape on three areas of it just until it was able to dry. So now I'm gonna attach one more wood piece so that they are three of the boards tall. Now on these boards, there's one side that is completely smooth and the other side is a little bit raised. So I'm putting the glue and the tape on the side that is raised. So I'm just gonna repeat this process with the other nine pieces until I have three pieces that have three boards attached to them. So I flipped my board over and I'm just going to add a little bit more glue to the back side, smoothing it out. And this is the side that I will end up painting once I have all the boards done. And I let this wood glue sit overnight. Once it had sat overnight and I had all of my boards done, it was time for me to put them together. So before I did that, I decided that I was gonna leave the tape on because it was on the inside, but I was just removing it so it was away from the edges. Next, I took the boards and I'm using a long piece of duct tape to hold them together. And then I'm going to be putting the wood glue on the outside layer. Now I'm just going to repeat that with my other board, attaching it with some duct tape. Now I'm just going to put half of the duct tape on the board and the other half I'll just leave on my table. That way when I stand it up, I can connect it to the other side. So I'm gonna stand it up and make a triangle shape with my three boards. Next, I'm going to take that duct tape and turn it inside and connect it to the other side so that the three boards are all connected together. Next, I'm going to take and put a thin layer of wood glue on each side to hold it in place. And I also let that wood glue sit overnight. So this table took me a few days to make. I wanted it to be really sturdy before I moved on. So once I had everything dry, it was time to paint. Now I'm painting everything a light pink and I use spray paint. What I should have done was use a white primer on this first because it ended up taking me four coats of paint to cover it. So I do suggest using a primer if you're using these same boards that I used. So I'm painting the base of it. I'm also going to be painting the top, which is just a silver tray that you can get at the Dollar Tree in their party section. So once inside, I'm going to take some of Dollar Tree's contact paper and I'm using this uh, gray and white pattern. And I'm just going to cut off a piece that's as big as the tray.
Now I wanna create a circle to go on the inside portion of my tray. So to do that, I'm just going to use my tray as a guide and I'm going to take a pencil and there's a little lip on this tray. So I'm just going to simply trace around that lip with my pencil. And now I have my perfect circle to cut out. So I'm just going to cut around my trace marks. Next, I'll just pull off the backing and attach it down to my tray. And after I attach it, I'll just smooth out any bubbles that have formed in the contact paper so it's really nice and smooth on my board. From there, I'm going to get the base of my end table and I'm just going to put a band of E6000 around the top and then I will attach the tray to the top of it. And this is what my end table ended up looking like. And I thought it would make a really cute uh, nightstand for a little girl's room. So next I'm gonna show you how I made that floral piece that's sitting on top there. So I got some foam and also some hydrangeas from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna start off with my glue gun and just attach these two white pieces of foam together. Next, I'm just going to add one of the green foam on top of the white pieces. Now I'm going to take off the hydrangeas from these stems to put them in. Now I will tell you I bought three bundles, but I probably should have brought four because I ended up running out a little bit on the back side. I was okay with that since my um, hydrangeas were going to be facing the wall, but if you were using this as a centerpiece or somewhere in your house where you're gonna see the back, I would suggest buying four bundles of the hydrangeas. So I'm just taking them off of their stem and attaching them in a circular pattern around here. And I'm just kind of fluffing them up as I go, making sure that there's not any holes to my hydrangeas. And then I just set it on a clear candle holder from the Dollar Tree and added a few candles. I hope you guys like this project. If you are new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe and we'd love to have you. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.